Now let's start with the examples. So in the first example, we would learn how to apply data validation and we'll set up input and error message also. So I jump onto cell F10 and to open data validation, either you can press Alt D L, which is a combination of keys of earlier version of Excel or follow Alt A V V or jump onto data ribbon tab in data tools category and then click on data validation. Here we have to allow a number between 1 and 99 only. So let's select the whole number and then in minimum I type 1 and 99 in maximum. Now let's jump on input message and in the title I enter here enter numbers only and then in message I type please enter a whole number value between 1 and 99. And after that, I jump onto error alert tab. And in this case, I will go ahead with stop alert type only. And then in the title, I said, oops, invalid entry when the user will try to enter the invalid data. And then I would say here, you have entered a wrong input. Please enter a whole number between 1 and 99 only. And once I'm done, I will simply click on OK and there we go. I can immediately see the message appear here which I supplied in the input message. So now when you try entering the number between 1 and 99, you can easily do that. But the moment you go outside the range, say for I type here 100, it will pop up the error alert message. So whatever message we had provided, it displays exactly same here when we try to enter any number outside the range. So let me click on retry and then if we try to enter the number within the range, it will let us do that. Otherwise, it will again show us that message. For the second instance, say for we want to set up a rule to have the number less than or equal to 100. So let's go back to data validation, move on to settings tab and here once again we select whole number and this time instead of saying data as between we would say less than or equal to then I enter here 100 and now I am not going to provide input message and error alert message once again but if you want you can do that. So now I simply click on OK and then if I try to enter any number less than or equal to 100 I would be able to do but the moment I try to enter any number above 100 it is going to come up with the default message which says this value does not match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. So if we click on retry, it will let us do that. But if we still try to enter the number above 100, it is going to show us the same message. And if we say cancel, it's going to cancel the action and we will be back with the previous entry of the cell. So it's very easy to apply data validation rule or set up the input in error message. So in the second example, we have to copy the data validation from one cell to another cell. And it says copy data validation rule from F12 and apply the same in F17. So I'm not going to move anywhere since I want to copy the data validation rule from this cell only. And then simply you have to press control C in order to copy the cell and then jump on to F16. And then you have to press control Alt V to open the paste special dialog box and here we paste only validation in this cell and then as soon as we click on OK and now this cell has the validation applied same as F12. So if I try to enter any number less than 100 say for I enter 90 I can do it easily but the moment I try to enter 101 in this cell it is again going to show me the same message. In the third example we are going to learn how to modify the data validation rule and here we have to enter any date greater than 31st December 1999. So I keep my cursor here and once again I click on data validation and this time I select date as the validation criteria and instead of saying between I would say here greater than and then I need to supply the starting date from which it can only accept the dates above in this cell. So I enter the date in the same format as my system follows. So I enter first 12 for December followed by 31st then 1999 and then once I click on OK and now when I try to enter date say for 1 1 2000 I can do that and let's try with 31st December 1999 oops 
it does not let us enter the date because we ask data validation to accept the dates above 31st December 1999. What if we want to modify the, the rule here? So we again go back to data validation and we want to have any date within seven days from now. So I change the data type to between and then in the starting date, I will keep it as today's date by entering the today function and then in and date, I would say equal to today, then plus seven so that the minimum date or the starting date would be of today's and then the last date it can accept will be after seven dates from now. So then I click on OK. So now let's press the shortcut to insert the current date, which is control semicolon. And when we do that, it can let us do that. But if we try to modify the date and make it as 13th of February, we cannot have it or if we let's try it again and this time we try to make it 21st of February since it falls in seven days from now. So it successfully allowed us to have it in this cell. And what if you want to find or recognize the cells with the data validation? So in this case, we want to find all the cells containing data validation rule. So to do that, we are going to use go to special feature. So for that, either you can press F5 function key or you can press control G in order to open the go to dialog box. And there you have to click on special. Once you click on special, look at the last option and it says data validation. So when you click on data validation, it also asks you to select whether you want to select all data validation rules or not. So we go ahead with all only and then as soon as you click on OK, it highlights all the cells that contain data validation in it. And then what if you want to remove or clear the data validation rules from the highlighted cells or ranges? So in this case, once again, I press Control G and click on special and select data validation and click on OK. Once it is highlighted all the cells that contains data validation, I simply open the data validation and then it says erase current setting and continue. So I click on OK and now when I come back to any cell and click on data validation, I can see none of these cells have any data validation applied for them. So you can go to each cell which was having a data validation applied in it and cross check. It has removed the validation rules from all the highlighted cells easily in one go only. So that was all about the basics of data validation feature. In the next video, you will learn how to create drop down list using multiple methods. I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues also. Stay tuned for the next upload. Keep watching. Thank you and have a great day.